Uh, we continue in the next end zone. Uh, the VCP zero length packet uh, is the name for uh, the extension of uh, our first end zone of the CDC VCP. Here we will uh, demonstrate the ability of the USB uh, bulk transfer, which uh, as you can see in the specification uh, has to be ended uh, with the uh, packet which is smaller than the maximum packet size or a zero length packet. Otherwise, uh, the system is not considering the transfer as complete and uh, the communication, the data are not propagated to the upper layer. And as Windows is strictly following this rule, uh, we will be able to see in the terminal that if we want to uh, uh, follow this rule correctly, the communication won't be propagated. So, we will uh, again uh, jump into the QPMX. Uh, we we have the same configuration like before for uh, VC, CDC VCP. So if you skip the first hands on, please return to it and uh, go through. Uh, otherwise, uh, we won't be able to continue here. But uh, as you already did, uh, we used the exactly same MX file and uh, exactly same settings. Just add the PA13 as GPIO input. PA13 is a button on the Nucleo board. So here we will have uh, this functionality to control the flow inside of the application. So generate the project and open in IDE. So we have the same like before. In the interface file we have already the line coding uh, filled from previous project so we can directly continue with adding the code. So first we will add the include of the CDC interface file to be able to call CDC transmit function. And uh, here we will prepare the buffers which will be used uh, for the communication. So first we will define the length of the buffer as we will change it during the demonstration. And now buffers itself. counting variable and uh, for getting the state of the U uh, USB peripheral we will need also the handler uh, which is inside of the USB device.c so we will copy the handler and use in main with extern. And now we can just add the code. So first we are waiting uh, for the button press. So read the pin GPIO C GPIO pin 13 and we are waiting as long as the pin is the reset state. So like that. After that we, we will limit the program to five iteration so use the count variable and smaller than five and in this iteration first we want to check that uh, the that there is no ongoing uh, transfer so for this purpose we will use uh, the 
state variable inside of the handler which is changed uh, in the uh, library file uh, connected to the class cdc so in the source usbd.cdc and here we have it already on open so from the previous demonstration so it's cdc data in and in this uh, callback which is called uh, once uh, the data are successfully uh, received uh, by the host we have the tx state which is zeroed that means that there is no ongoing transfer and uh, we can call again cdc transmit and uh, the data will be propagated to the buffers FIFO and so on so here we will copy part of the code so we can reuse them so but the pdef needs to be uh, replied here by the handler and we are I'm waiting for the TX state and the TX state needs to be zero that means there is no ongoing transfer and when this is fulfilled we can call the CDC transmit buffer is already initialized and we will use the link uh, which was uh, initialized uh, also because we will change it during the example and uh, we want to be sure this was executed correctly and once executed correctly we will increase the count So this is the code we need for the first part of the example. Okay, good, and we can load into the microcontroller. So application is ready to be to run. And uh, before that, uh, we will use also the USB analyzer. Uh, so I will be able to demonstrate to you that the data were correctly sent by the microcontroller, but uh, are not visible for the system as the zero link packet or the packet with smaller size was not sent uh, as the specification requires. So we will start the recording. Now I start and the program inside of the debug of the microcontroller and connect to virtual com port 9 which is the usb of the microcontroller and by pressing the button data are sent but i'm not able to see uh, any changes so let's take a look uh, inside of the analyzer uh, data if there were any communication on the data endpoints few moments for the analyzer software and here we are able to see that there is uh, 320 bytes on the endpoint 1 but uh, it's the communication it's not yet completed because uh, there were no uh, no uh, zero link packet or packet with smaller size so microcontroller sent the data uh, pc was able to receive but uh, was not propagated to the upper layer as uh, all the conditions were not fulfilled so let's try to change uh, to 63 bytes and in this configuration everything uh, should be visible without any kind of problem for uh, the application 
Okay, we need to close uh, before it will be open. Also, I restart the analyzer and we can uh, run the application. So it's connected and now I'm pressing the button and I'm able to see that the data uh, are correctly received uh, by the PC application and inside uh, in the analyzer communication I'm able to see uh, one, one, two, three, four, five packets sent and uh, the last uh, transfer was not completed. So this is correct. So how we should handle uh, to have the universal flow even uh, um, with the maximum packet size uh, to be more effective. So we change uh, again back to use the maximum packet size for our transfers. Uh, but after that, we also need to send the zero and packet uh, if we are uh, as we are sending the maximum data size. Uh, in the application, it uh, should be checked more automatically, not to send the zero and packet every time. But for the demonstration purpose, we want to simplify. So. Again, we want to check uh, that uh, previous transfer was uh, finished. So in the while, the TX state is not equal zero. We are waiting in a loop. And after that, we send a message with zero length. So this should uh, show us that uh, four, uh, five packets with 64 bytes were sent and also we should be able to see them in the application. So let's reconnect and run the application in the termite we will connect everything is set so let's press the button data are here and in the analyzer communication In a few moments, we are able to see again 320 bytes. So everything was set and also uh, transferred uh, to upper layer. So now uh, the uh, PC is uh, capable to see all the communication coming from uh, coming from the microcontroller. So this is all about uh, the uh, zero length packet uh, behavior for the USB, so please be aware.